Welcome back to Energy Scapes, Ocean and Space. Um, some more updates on recommended reading and this time looking at some other literature and documents and information on some key figures historically and currently that aren't in mainstream but have done some, some brilliant work in the area of um, disclosure. So let's just go through these. Um, I'll start, I've got six, six researchers or authors of science. Um, so let's do the first one first. We've got, if you look up these guys, you'll, you'll come across some Shipov, and a few of them are Russian, Shipov, Torsion Fields and the Manifestation of Energy. Uh, some very interesting stuff there going on. We've got uh, Pavlenko, He's also done torsion fields and the influence on biological organisms. So that's really interesting as well. Then we've got Korsarev, who's done a lot of work in torsion fields and the science of time. Um, so if you get into these guys, they look at uh, how everything in the, in the Earth rotates from subatomic particles to whole galaxies. And so what they're getting at is that they're the source of the four fundamental forces like gravity, magnetism, the strong and weak nuclear force is in fact angular momentum because everything rotates um, and that results in the four different forces and of course the source of energy of angular rotation is the energy that travels faster than the speed of light and that has a whole range of implications for technology uh, for FTL, of course, um, but you won't find these guys in mainstream, but it's something that we should be aware of, uh, that science or mainstream science has a lot of stuff missing, uh, whether that's deliberate or a manipulation or just because of the way things are, um, people don't even realise it, and that might be why we have difficulty understanding uh, un unidentified aerial phenomena because the science that we want to know about is the science is coveted by those that do know. Uh, I've got a few other authors, three other authors here that people should uh, look at. We've got uh, De Palma and the N machine. We've got a guy called Maxwell who of course came up the, with the equations for uh, electricity. Uh, but again, the mathematics for that was modified quite extensively and his connection with um, four-dimensional space and electricity was removed from the original cal calculations, believe it or not. So even his work's been manipulated. What you see now and what we learn about and are taught about in schools in terms of our electricity is not the whole story because it's only related to the physical dimension. Uh, and of course Faraday, Faraday and the homopolar generator. And in fact, there's, uh, if, we, if we talk about the end machine which is related, uh, this guy De Palma has actually written uh, his own book on the whole concept of free energy and the end machine which I've acquired as well. So there you go, there's there's a few very interesting things there to read. Um, get into these guys, have a look on the on the web and look at the information on them and we'll talk soon.